Tonight, the FDA has approved a drug it says can slow down a patient's physical decline by 33 percent. It is the first drug specifically approved for the condition in more than 20 years. And this is something that hits home for a lot of people, including us here at Channel 7. Former Eyewitness News anchor Irv Weinstein is battling the disease. In fact, up to 15,000 Americans suffer from it, and its cause is still unclear. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore takes a closer look tonight. And you have to deliver a diagnosis that's not easy to deliver, but you have to do it, and you have to do it realistically, but also with some hope. Dr. Thomas Homlin with Dent talks about how difficult it is for him to tell patients they have ALS. He says most people with the disease live between three to five years. Only 10 percent live as long as 10 years. When you get this diagnosis. It's really, 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 really tremendously hard. And then when you look at our treatment options, it's, 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 it's difficult. And For Dr. Homeland, a new drug approved by the FDA just last week could be that shining light of hope for patients. Radicava is supposed to slow down the progression of the disease by 33%. It's the first treatment drug in more than 20 years and only the second ever. It shows folks that, that people are listening, that people are working towards a cure, and it's one step closer. Julie Garland, a care service coordinator with the ALS Association Upstate Chapter, says this disease has gained a lot of attention since the ice bucket challenge a few years ago, with millions being raised for research. The treatment will cost patients $150,000 a year, something that worries Dr. Homeland. There's going to be issues because this is not going to be a cheap treatment as of right now. Well, the drug is expected to arrive in U.S. pharmacies in August. In Amherst, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.